Welcome back to our final segment of this edition of Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank Bank Hometown for helping make uh, the show happen. And we're covering Central and Western Mass uh, during the course of the show. We, we just had on uh, representation from Western New England University School of Law. And now we're, we're back a little bit more local. And uh, really, you know, the core of the businesses that represent the 2,300 plus member businesses of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce are small businesses, entrepreneurs, people who are, who are working every hard to, to uh, live a dream, you know, of, of having your own businesses. I'm thrilled to have with us uh, Principe Vertuez, who is the owner of the Palace Elite Barber Spa. Uh, we're going to refer to you as Prince through the rest of the show because uh, that's how a lot of people and your friends refer you to as. Uh, Prince, welcome to the show. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we just recently uh, had a fun ribbon cutting uh, yes, we did. when you opened up uh, the Palace Elite Barber Spa, and uh, really a, a unique feel in the <laughs> Webster Square Main Street neighborhood. Uh, you, you walk into into the, the uh, Elite Barber Spa, and it's it's not your typical experience. Why, why don't you talk about that? Uh, yeah, you, no you, problem. Yeah. Yeah, so, all right, so Palace Elite, where am I looking at? Where's the cameras here? You, you can look at anyway, me. You can all look right, at <laughs> so Palace Elite Barber Spa is... Um, what we do is we, we excel in elite grooming. So it's, it's, it's a barber shop, but it's also, it goes back to the, it puts a modern spin on, on the old traditional ways of barbering. So we have, uh, we have hot towel shaves, we offer facials. I have a service called the Royal Treatment. Within the Royal Treatment, you get a full haircut, hot towel shave, a facial. You get your choice of essential oils that I put in the steamer. The steamer goes on your face, uh, whatever you want, vanilla, eucalyptus. We got every, every uh, option you could think of. So you get that and uh, you get the hot towel shave, um, shaved up, haircut. You get a shot of cologne when you leave the building. So we are just uh, trying to excel in elite grooming because elite grooming, our mission is that elite grooming creates confidence. And uh, when you can feel yourself and, and, and you know you're happy about yourself and you're confident, you can go out into the world and you can make the right moves. We, we just want to make your day a little bit better. In my experience, uh, growing up in Worcester, man, we really uh, need to step up our confidence level because a lot of us, you know, sometimes we feel down on ourselves. Uh, I come from the urban society where people sometimes look at themselves like, you know, they don't give themselves the shot that they deserve. And uh, that's where I come in. I want to I wanna help you gain that confidence. I want to help you build the confidence so you can go out there and take over the world, man. So this is kind of a, a blend. I mean, you mentioned kind of the old school traditional you know, barber shop as exactly. people kind of know it, or it's portrayed in, in in movies and things. But traditionally, you know, barber shops have been gathering places where people come, uh, yes, to get the haircut, and now in, a, in an expanded experience. But also a place where people can kind of relax a little bit. Exactly. Uh, and part of the the space that you've created uh, uh, at Webster Square Main Street, which was the old former uh, bicycle uh, bike alley, bike alley. Yep shop uh, you've kind of created where the minute you walk in the door you kind of want to relax and there's, there's different places and uh, and people can have what you said the kind of that, that right. spa treatment and so it seems like when you design the place too you're very purposeful about yes. the, the ambiance you're looking at yes 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 because it's I'm, I'm really not interested i mean i can cut i can cut hair not to toot my own horn i give a very good haircut that that's not what i'm going for here i'm going for the entire experience i want once you come in the door the visual the smell the sight the feeling. I just want you to come in here and feel good. I want to make people feel good. I, like I said, I've grown up, in, or grown up in this town. I have, not to make a, 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 a long story short, to make a long story short, but not to make a, not to be too vivid. Uh, I grew up in the streets of Worcester. Uh, my, my parents, they let the streets get the best of them. So I grew up with no confidence. I grew up thinking I couldn't do anything. I had no guidance. You know, even in my friends around me, I grew up in a foster care system. When we were young, my, my siblings and I, we got split up. We all grew up differently. I have siblings I've never even met. And, uh, you know, it was rough, so I don't want anybody, I wouldn't choose that path on my worst enemy, much less my beloved community. You know what I mean? So I try my best to, you know, do what I can and give back, and I just want everybody to feel good. And if I can give back to my community in any way, I want it to be in that way, to make you feel better about yourself. And that's, you know, uh, well, thank you, you know, Prince, for, for sharing that, and that kind of reinforces, you know, why uh, I think we enjoy our work, the team at the Chamber so much, is that, you know, when someone has the courage to step forward and start their own business, you know, that's, that's a big step. Yeah. And, and, and it comes with a whole bunch of challenges, but uh, there's a belief system in that and there's a confidence. Mm -hmm. And obviously you're nervous and you're yeah, saying, yeah, I'm yeah. putting it on the line. And, and you've done it. You've worked much of your career doing, you know, cutting hair, you know, do, doing uh, various kind of treatments. Uh, and now you're saying, okay, I'm going to put my name on, on exactly. the bill. I'm going to put yep. the name on the bill, go in there and start, start the business. And, and you're right about, look, 
and if people want to look, if you're going to look good, you feel good, and, and, and it, it, how people look at you is different too, right? Exactly. So yeah, so yeah, and like you said, putting my name on the bill and putting, actually putting it out there because I've cut hair in this uh, town for years now, and uh, I've always tried to give back. Uh, I work with Fresh Start Community Program. We give away, uh, I dress up as Superman, give away Christmas presents. Um, I'm, I do haircuts for back to school, but now I have my own headquarters is what I call it, where I can, uh, you know, Sundays I bring the community together. We have game nights, so it's game night every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Anybody can come. We have board games. You can bring games. Uh, I allow other instructors, a barbering, or anybody in the beauty field to come, and I built a stage. So there's a stage in the barbershop and for instructors to come, and you can teach a craft, teach people any craft that has to do with uh, beauty. And uh, so, yeah, I have my own headquarters now. So it's not just me running around just, just talking about it. Like you said, I, I can actually like, so put something forward, put some real, real work in now, and I have somewhere where I can, uh, you know, we can meet, we can congregate. Uh, I look forward to building with uh, other mentors, and maybe we can get youth in there. Like I said, I have the stage. If I can get the mentors, we can get some youth in there on the weekends. Right. We can teach them how to cut hair because um, you're not allowed to go to school for barbering until you graduate high school or get a GED. But I mean, there's kids running around with nothing to do, you know, and barbering is, is to me fun. And to the children that I interact to the youth that I interact with, they find it fun. So with that said, it's something to get them off the street and get them interactive with some. And at least if they're good enough to yeah. do it, when, by the time they get to school, they won't have that hard right. time in school. Right. No, I mean, you're, you're, it's an art. Yeah. And you earn a living and it's social and it's fun. You're meeting people uh, mm -hmm. and and you're running a business, so you, you certainly can see why a number of people, it's a pathway. And, you know, I want to want to mention, uh, you mentioned, you know, Fresh Start, and Fresh Start is a chamber member organization that does some really important work. We had Western New England School of Law uh, Center for Social Justice on. They talked about their work with the Corey system. Fresh Start is a program, and Derek Kaiser leads that up, works closely with Sheriff uh, Evangelitis, works with the DA's office, works closely with, with uh, Mass Corrections individuals who are uh, formerly incarcerated come out and this is a program to help them get right out you know as, as they uh, leave a uh, prison facility they come out training how to get back you know find employment and fresh starts got a number of relationships with employers who work with work with those those individuals and get them working right away in the support systems and, and part of that is looking good and feeling good right? yeah exactly yeah that's what i love about it man i love joining forces with other community networks and, you know, getting the job done because we all have a, a goal, man, is to make Worcester great, greater. You know what I mean? I never thought it wasn't great, but make Worcester greater than it has been. We really need to step our game up. We really need to start helping our people in our own community because, man, we walk past people and uh, you might have a, um, let's say you're having a regular old regular day and, you're, and, you, and you go about your day, you have a great day. You have a decent day. You get to work, you, breakfast was great, lunch was great, dinner was great, go to bed. Great, you had a great day. What about everybody else, man? It's not, we have to come outside of ourselves sometimes, especially if you're having a great day. Because if you are having a great day, then you can afford to put yes, a little time yep. aside sure. to make somebody else's day better, you know what I mean? And I'm the kind of person that, I won't say I never have great days, but I have had so much you know, trauma in my history that it, it, you know, I have to really work on having great days. But that is what I use. I don't have the, that great day that I told you where I have time set aside to help someone out. I use my trauma to help other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So either way, great day or not, we really need to start setting aside some time. We can't just say we're community people, we love the community, we help the community, but we have a whole entire day where it went perfectly well and we didn't help a person. And, and I'm, like, I'm not saying to dedicate every single day to the whole community, but just if everybody tries every day, we'll be all right. Well, a lot of, hopefully a lot of great days ahead for uh, Palace Elite Barber Spa, yeah. Prince Fertuez, and uh, we're just thrilled to what you're doing and, you. and being an anchor in the neighborhood. If I could just say, because uh, I really haven't, I'm sitting here talking about the community. Let me talk about the Palace real quick. 1067 Main Street. Uh, we, you can book online, www.palaceelitebarberspa.com. You don't have to come to the shop. You don't have to call the shop. You can go online. You can book. You can see barbers' availabilities. You can see the services we offer. All you have to do is book online. You can pay online. Just come in, have a good time, get your service, and leave. Don't pull out any cash in the barbershop. Uh, very friendly experience, very luxurious experience. We have red and gold leather barber chairs, marble floors. There's a secretary at the desk. Um, just come on down and enjoy yourself, pamper yourself, relax yourself, gain that confidence to go out and make our community better. All right, you heard it from Prince and Bank Hometown. Thank you.